Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am riding this. This is the Kinetic Luna which comes courtesy of Sunny Mahajan to me. It is a moped which he bought for around 4,000 rupees and has spent around 10,000 rupees to actually get it back into condition. It's absolutely funny and different. For see, these are 16 inch wheels, spoke wheels of course and I don't even know the width of the tyres because I don't understand the numbering. Telescopic forks at the front, drum brakes both at the front as well as the rear. Classic light, I mean round shape because old everything old used to have round only and the speedometer is original again this is round and has an optimistic limit of 80 kilometers per hour from the side you can see it's a proper moped but there's a lot of interesting bits on this particular moped first and foremost there is no key to turn on this moped so there's a handlebar lock anybody can turn it on yeah so he actually takes it to his house on the fifth floor actually it weighs just 20 kg so you can just lift it like this that's how easy it is okay again the rear tire happens to be yeah 16 incher Pillion cannot sit here though <laughs> and I don't know the paint shade but it actually looks quite nice. This seat has a crack but he's not changed it because this is original. Yes, a lot of original bits on this moped and this is a 2 litre fuel tank says Luna here. I think this is a 60cc engine. Now it has got dual drives so here we have got the chain drive for the engine and on the other side we've got the belt drive for the pedaling of course. Okay, look at the wheels. The light Chintu Mintu. Now most of the stuff works on this particular moped but the horn does not. Now this is the switch for the horn, that's the reason he has put this horn source from Decathlon. Now this is the engine kill switch, actually you press this lever if you want to go pedaling so that the engine kind of disconnects and that's how it is. Now what you're going to do is we're going to turn it on, that's very simple to turn it on. First and foremost you have to actually push it towards the front, yeah, it's on the main stand so you push it towards the front and then you have to pedal it, okay. I take it up ahead like this, yeah it's going to be a little difficult for me with one hand. Yeah, we're going to do that. Push it ahead and yeah, it has turned on. How do you kill it? Very simple. There, it got killed. I mean, the engine shut off. Now, seat height is not that impressive, but this is so freaking cool. You can just turn it on. That's the chin to into exhaust and it should turn around 50 kilometers per liter. Now, once you've turned on, turned it off, then you can just pedal it like a regular cycle as well. So, quite a lot of interesting bits. Let's do one thing. <laughs> Let's start riding this amazingly unique type of a moped and I always wanted to ride it. This is made by Kinetic by the way, let's go. But before we go, let me show you the choke of this motorcycle. This is the choke, you have to keep like pressing it like that and that's how it actually works. You can read the tire specs, I don't understand jack shit here. And this is to turn on and off the fuel, okay? So if you want to turn it off, I think you have to rotate it somewhere else. Yeah, this is actually the, yeah, now it is off, then you rotate it to turn it on. Then only fuel will flow, so you can just pedal. And like I was telling, it's so light that you can pick it up easily. I need to hit the gym or maybe I'll just climb all this and go to the park. Let's go riding. All right, we are all set to go, which means simple as that. I need to put the weight towards the front and then turn this on, which is basically here we go. Aage ki taraf wait and there's turned on and off the stand and yeah, that's about it. There is no performance or power. Okay, you can keep your feet here, which is not very comfortable. The seat now is very funny. You know why? Because the seat, believe it or not, okay, he's also learning. I'm also learning right now. And kids are coming in the way. Move around. I have no brakes. <laughs> Anyways, jokes aside, uh, the seat actually has a suspension sort of a thing. It keeps moving around. There is absolutely no power. The suspension is so bad now that you feel each and everything. And the scooter doesn't even have, okay, this moped doesn't even have brakes. I'm applying the brakes. Nothing is happening as well. Oh my God, that's kind of weird. Now, what you can do is you can actually, oh my God, I hate this. Oh my God. So this is actually a 60cc one. They had a Luna Wings, which had 30cc, I think. And then they had a Luna CVT 70. Oh my God, I can feel everything in my that is how bad it is so uh, yeah this uh, they had a 70 cc version as well which came with the cvt box yeah i think it was known as the luna 70 or luna cvt 70 something of that sort we're going to take an exit and see if we can hit the main road thank god i have worn all riding here yeah there is a knee pad here we're going to get out but why do the brakes not work maybe i have to do yeah but i have to do and put my foot down to apply brakes Okay, there are no brakes. There are absolutely no brakes. I had to actually put my foot down. Now, the thing is, I can actually pedal here for additional power. But pedaling is very, very slow. It doesn't take this anywhere. It's very cumbersome. It's not like a cycle. It is much, 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 much slower than that as well. Yeah, full power. Now, I'm in full power. 
It doesn't move only because it's got like three horsepower and maybe four newton meters of torque. Top speed is maybe 30 kilometers per hour. Oh God, we are accelerating, but I'm full on the brakes. It's not stopping. <laughs> okay, yabba dabba do. That's how it stops <laughs> with my yabba dabba do Flintstone style. Otherwise, this scooter, moped, whatever this is, has no brakes. Handlebar is so freaking loose. Ride is bad. Handling is bad. Performance is bad. But hey, fuel efficiency was good. 50 kilometers per liter, and if you decide to pedal as well, it should reach maybe what I guess around 60 kilometers per liter. But pedaling is very, very difficult. You have to really think 50,704 times to actually ride this. Climbing up not an issue because yeah, there is an issue because there is no punch from the motor. Here I'm on full throttle, it's not moving, so I have to use pedal power for the way, not pedal foot power. I can actually pedal, and I have pedaled right now. Wow. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Who actually bought this? Because this just does not move. There are no brakes here either. Oh my God! Such a cumbersome thing to ride. Although it's very easy, very light. It's like what 20 kgs. I weigh four times more than this, and every bump you fall. Oh my goodness! I need a, a cushion right now to sit on because it's very uncomfy. This is having a nice feature called horn. To tell people, you know what? There are no brakes. Please move aside, because I'm going to crash into you. And then when you pedal, you can go faster. Speedometer? Does it work? Does it not work? It does not work, I think. But you don't have time to look at the speedometer because you are always worried. Ki kya hone wala hai mere saath? Oh, 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 oh. I give up. <laughs> this. Uh, uh, kudos to the people who used to actually ride this. Mujhse to na ho paega. But throttle. It just makes noise, and then throttle gets stuck as well. Oh my God! It doesn't stop. I got so scared. It's like 10 kilometers per hour. This thing happens. The throttle here. It started. It's moving on its own. So it's got cruise control as well. <laughs> That's kind of funny. My God! From where did this get this? And why did they make it? Actually, this is licensed from Piaggio, Italy. Uh, this is the moped called Piaggio Ciao. Something of that sort. 1972. I licensed it. A lot of versions. <laughs> Also came of it. The horn is actually nice. That is the only fun aspect here. So, guys, this is a quick vlog of something which is absolutely ridiculous. Something you should never ever ride because it might just kill you. But at those speeds, you're just going to injure yourself. You're not going to get killed. Brakes, brakes, brakes don't work. They just don't work. And oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's why I chose to ride here only. <sighs> The only good part is it's super duper easy to take a turn. I could turn line and up. No problem. I'm going to take a turn. But I'm going to take a turn. I'm going to take a turn. Turning radius is nice. You don't have to put your foot down. Such a nice turning radius. Super easy to ride. Ah, this is actually a cycle with a motor. Making it a motorcycle. But this is actually a moped. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm not going to use the throttle at all. In fact, I'm going to kill the engine here. I've killed the engine. I've, yeah, and now I'm just pedaling. The effort is tremendous to get this moving. Oh. on that disappointment i would just say you know what instead of riding this just put this back on the stand which is not easy so i have to get off and yeah rather than riding this luna i chose to walk and i chose life bye